There's a new Zelda game coming out, so let's talk about Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is the story of a knight. This knight, his name is Link, and he's over 100 years old. He looks like this instead of this, all thanks to a handy dandy magic spa. After climbing out of a sensory deprivation tank, Link grabs an iPad and runs to the edge of a cliff where he realizes that he's just a little guy. He spots homeless Santa Claus who says, Do you have any games on your phone? Link doesn't want to disappoint this man in squalor, so he runs around the tremendous butte where he downloads bombs, a magnet, a pause button, and after getting bundled up, an ice machine. Once he brings all the apps back to hobo bo 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 the old man reveals himself to be the ghost of the boat from the Wind Waker. He gives Link his trusty float rag and tells him to get lost. At this point, Link could run straight to the castle and beat the big bad, but these twigs keep snapping like twigs and... Nope, 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 nope. Instead, he has a little chat with an old... Ugh. Old friend. Impa tells Lake about the four magnificent creatures that have been running rampant while he was busy power napping. Now he gets to choose between Big Bird, Carpet Dealer, Car Insurance, and Dumbo. He heads to Waterworld where the fish people have one big problem that none of them seem to actually be addressing. On his way to meet King Fish, Link runs into his fish girlfriend's little brother who is, uh, significantly bigger than he was earlier. Anyway, his room after she tells Link to climb the mountain and yoink the sparky arrows away from Zappy the Danger Monster. Once he gets back, he rides on side on shooting arrows at the problematic Pachyderm before climbing inside and popping the Icky Mini Ganon. Ugh. Next, he makes his way to the land of the Gordons to deal with her gargantuan gecko, but ooh, ah, that air is spicy. He rescues a little Gordon to help him blast his way to the lizard to purge it of his parasitic patron and free the ghost of this hot rock dude named Derek. Derek the ghost gives Link a big old hug and sends him on his way to the birdhouse. On his way to Avian Haven, Lark takes a detour to play some marbles with these old underground guys and pray for strength. Then he heads to the forest where. Uh, where, where do you... Uh, Ta-da! A shiny new sword courtesy of Old Tree, the granddad of the 900 tree people playing hide-and-seek all across Hyrule. Link gets to Poultry Peak and bundles up because, Excuse me, waiter, my bird town is cold. Teletubby tells Link to shoot a bunch of targets before throwing him into the sandbird from Mario Sunshine where he beats up Gusty Ganon and frees the spirit of Falco. Next, Link heads to Gerudo Town. Gerudo stands for, Gee, rude of you not to let me in just because I have cooties. So he puts on his cootie concealer clothes and talks to the child queen who tells him to go steal back her zappy hat from the cult to the north. He beats up their boss man and Kid Queen sends Link into the sandstorm with a seal to slingshot him into the cranky camel where he gets rid of speed zapper and frees tall girl's ghost. Now that all the big creatures are on his side again, Link makes a beeline for the castle. <laughs> Boink? Once inside, he comes across the nasty pulsing sack of doom, which spits out the grossest looking Ganon in any Zelda game. Thanks to the big animal robots and Link's glow stick sword, this gross Ganon gets got pretty fast. <gasps> But what's this? As one final hurrah, Danger McBeastie pops out in Hyrule Field where Link uses Zelda's shiny arrows to blow it up. Link and Zelda reminisce and the world is saved. Oh yeah, there's also DLC that lets you fight a monk and ride around on a motorcycle. Anyway, that was Breath of the Wild. Hope you enjoyed Tears of the Kingdom. Bye!